You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Hello, this is Greg Valoria, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Today we speak with Jason Sakari of Sweeble. Uh, Sweeble is a photo and video sharing application that also measures how people like your photos and videos in a different way. So let's see what uh, Jason has to say about Sweeble. So tell us about this new service you have called Sweeble. Um, so we launched a couple weeks ago um, our new app called Sweeble, uh, actually at the Chinese Theater in LA, which is the first time a tech company has ever premiered uh, at the Chinese Theater, which is usually typically meant for red carpet premieres of movies. Um, so through some of our partners, we were able to pull that off, and it was actually a really great event, um, about 500 people in attendance, which was pretty cool. Wow. So, so, so tell us a little bit about Sweeble. It's, it's a little bit different than a typical photo and uh, video sharing network that I've seen like in Instagram, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we, we kind of joke about it and, and say we kind of bring the casualness of Snapchat met with the permanence of Instagram, right? And uh, people are posting rapidly of anything they're capturing throughout their daily lives. But the most important critical dimension that we bring um, is this new uh, metric of how much we like people's content. Right, so today, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all social networks are all binary. You either like something or you don't like something. And if you do like it, at what measurement or what intensity or what degree do we like our friends and our followers' posts? So ours is based off how long you hold on somebody's photo is how much you like that person's post. Um, we've already accumulated about 1.4 million seconds of people's time liked already on the app, and it's uh, it's been really fascinating to see like different posts that people like over other posts. Well, like, uh, why do you feel uh, having something different of this new measurement of, of engagement, um, you know, really helps, you know, people, uh, brands, and stuff like that? Why, why do you have to do something different? Um, well, I think, you know, personally, I get on my other social networks, and I, and I, and I flip through, and, and I'm, I, I go through, and I'm pretty much liking the same photo. I'm desensitized now. We've become so desensitized that we see a name or a, or a photo or some kind of kind of we automatically just hit boom, boom, boom. And I think now we're actually spending, you know, our most valuable time or resource is time, right? And now we're actually able to show our friends um, and our followers how much we actually appreciate people's stuff versus this, uh, you know, single binary like that you don't even know if, if somebody really likes it or doesn't like it. If somebody spends a few seconds on your photo, they clearly are engaged and, and like your, you know, your post. So when did you launch this? Uh, we launched July 11th, um, and it's, uh, it's, been, it's been crazy to see um, the, the turnout for, like, what we've created. And people, like, our engagement is just it's crazy of how active users are, are using it. It's, it. it's funny for me because, you know, you have your friends, and a lot of times you, you tell somebody, oh, I got this new app, right, and then you know, they download it and they never open it again. And, and it's funny to see kids from a high school and college and people that I've met, you know, along the way that are posting regularly on the, on the, on the app. It's just it's been really, really, really fun. Well, you know, I, I, when, I, when you showed it to me offline, you saw, I saw some of the uh, kind of interesting people you have on there, and, and a lot of them are Hollywood people. So, uh, you know, was that part of your strategy of, of trying to get people who want the engagement, I guess? Yeah, so, you know, kind of one of the things that we found is that, uh, you know, people like that, that Hollywood, you know, the electricity. You go down there and there's just electricity, and there's so many, so many talented people. Um, you know, you've seen a lot of these YouTube stars and Vine stars and Instagram stars are coming out of L.A. because there's just this electricity there. And we've become, you know, we've got to meet all these people throughout you know, our time and they, they've become, you know, good friends of ours now and they love that. They've been our biggest cheerleaders now. Is like, this is awesome. You know, this is really, really cool. What are some of the big channels that you have uh, on, on your network that has, like, really high, uh, I guess, amount of time of, 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 of engagement, I guess? Uh -huh. Um, you know, we've got some, some musicians. Uh, there's actually a local uh, musician here in uh, San Francisco named Burner. He's, uh, you know, he raps with uh, Wiz Khalifa, and he's got a clothing line here called Cookies. And, you know, he, Burner's posted on our app and, and, and actively engaged, and uh, I think his followers have already racked up around 56 hours worth of time on his profile, which is just incredible. Yeah, that's where I'm trying to get my. Our, we were we were talking offline, and just 
you know, getting away from the number of fans I have and the number of likes to actually time of engagement, that's a really neat kind of concept. So like, I, like what I wanted to ask you is that I met you through Bubble Loose, and so I wanted to ask you how, the, uh, how that kind of evolved. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, you know, it, it's fun, and, and, and that's one of the things that the life of, of a startup, right? So you're constantly building things and experimenting with different functions. And, um, you know, back in early uh, 2014, back in August, September, we started crafting out this mobile product for Bubble Loose. And, you know, a lot of times trying to get people to adapt to different things is really hard. So we, we, we focused on, we're like, what do people really want to do? And we completely scrapped almost everything and formed this own product called Sweeble. And, and I think there's a lot of iterations of how companies evolve uh, through time. You know, you've seen it with, you know, how Twitter, OD, it started out as Odeo and, and evolved into Twitter, right? I mean, little nuances have just changed. And so um, it's been it's been fun. Bubbleus is still doing well, a lot of, you know, writers and stuff. And this brings a whole little new niche of people just sharing photos and videos. So it's... Now, do you see that ever kind of helping each other the two separate um, apps or do you see really you know you have two apps that are actually just you know kind of taken off so you know yeah. that, that's kind of a challenge for a startup yeah, yeah, right? Yeah no it's, it's really it, it's been tough balancing uh, balancing two projects but um, we've got a solid team and we're, we're really excited for both. How many people do you have now? Um, we've got about 10, 10 people. So. And you're based where now? Uh, we're we're based here in uh, we're San, we're based here in uh, downtown San Francisco uh, in Soma. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I guess you know what do you see as the future of, of this moving forward? Uh, I mean you know maybe the product roadmap. I think you know are are you going to look for investment early on, or are you just going to hold on, build your build the the user base, or you know the the time base, if you want to call it, and uh... yeah, no, it's a, it's a combination of both. Um, you know, startups are always out there looking for more funding. Um, at the same time, we're we're still growing our user base. But the thing that we've been focusing on is finding really true strategic partners. And they always that's a word that's always floated around Silicon Valley is finding the right partners and strategic partners. Um, but us, you know, we've been spending a lot of time in in L.A. and Hollywood and the entertainment business and, and the thing for us and for the niche of what we're, how we've been growing this is that people are coming to see content, you know, exciting, new, fr you know, people expressing themselves in all kinds of different ways and working with some of the, you know, Hollywood agencies to bring on brands that they work with and people that they work with has been, you know, it's been really, we've really enjoyed it and it's been fun. Wow, so you're looking at not only maybe uh, some upcoming stars or stars in, in their own right, but also brands, right, as well, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you know, brands, we've seen a lot of the corporate brands are really interested in how startups are trying to um, really think differently than our current stuff, as we've seen how start, little small startups can literally change how big brands have completely changed their business models. Um, we've seen it... Uh, in ton, you know, from how TV works to, you know, how we transport and, and drive and, and things like that. So it's been... Yeah, you know, I, th I think it's what's difficult, d interesting is that I like the word you used earlier about desensitized, you know, to it all. You know, we're Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're on Snapchat, we're on, you know, Facebook, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, I didn't see any of them really pivot their, their model of actually either, you know, Twitter's number of fans... Uh, Facebook's a number of uh, friends and likes, and you know they've been trying to monetize you know a little bit on, uh, through an ad network yeah. as another layer, but th they all go back to the same thing: is yeah. is, is 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 click, you know, pay for click, pay for click. right? Absolutely. Absolutely, and I think it's very linear. I think mm -hmm. that the way we've looked at advertisement, yes, it's we've seen how you know effective Google can with read targeting ads and based off search results and stuff but there's a we need to take a new dynamic of how we actually engage people and mark engagement and, and besides just you know click through rates and I think that we've actually struck a nerve on how we can actually take what people are using and, and putting it towards how brands want to be able to see what their followers and, and fans are, are doing you know we've kind of I think even we've almost even moved away from like really worrying about likes on our, our Facebook pages because what do they even really mean? You know, people are building up these different likes, these big things to show likes, and then but what does it really mean? Especially, I think the biggest thing is building these huge communities of likes, and then when a lot of these platforms only show you a percentage of 
the things that you're following, I think it's really difficult to uh, actually even target your user base. Well, you know, and it's funny, and that's how those services like Cloud got started in the earlier, you know, a few years ago. They, they really were seeing this as a problem, yeah. right? And that's why they said, okay, well, you know, Greg as a brand, or, you know, Jason as a van, brand, or Bubbles as a brand. Now, if you put all your social networks into cloud, yeah. I'll give you this cloud number yeah. that somehow equates to some kind of engagement number, but you're not really quite sure because it's a proprietary algorithm yeah, they no, use, right? Absolutely. And yours is quite easy because it's just like you hold it down and God, if I really if, if I really like Jason, I'm going to hold that button down for about an hour, yeah, right? Absolutely. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, showing transparency. I mean, the fact that, you know, it's always fun when, you know, you post something on Instagram and I go, you always are going back in to see which of your friends liked your post. You know, now it's taking this whole new dimension. You're like, you know, I, I post a photo and then, you know, Johnny's held it for 15 seconds and I look at Greg, Greg's held it for one second. You're like, hey, Greg, why didn't you like, you didn't really like that photo, you know? And it's, it's, uh, it's funny to see like how people are uh, really just engaged, and it's all like natural engagement, which is so fascinating to see how uh, humans interact. You know, we were talking offline about how do you really, you know, train users to adapt to new things, and it, and it definitely it's you know when you move from you know when you went from Twitter or when you from Facebook to Twitter to Instagram to Snapchat, it's it's just this learning process. Even when they update it, you're still it's like a new learning process. But I think. The fascinating thing is what we've tried to do is completely simplify things as po most as simple as possible with a really easy um, UI and UX of just being able to slide back and forth between photos and then all the simple as this is just holding down on somebody's photo and it's exciting because you know right now when you hold on somebody's photo after a certain thresholds different you know lightning sparks grow out of the hearts and things and it's fun it's been it's fun people want to see different engagement and different yeah. things happening so. Yeah, well, yeah, well, let's close out the interview. I think you explained your, 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 well, what, yeah, your service. So uh, how do people get a hold of you and get a hold of um, you know, Sweeble? Yeah, um, well, check us out on the app. It's in uh, iOS and Android. Mm. Um, and you can check us. We have a website at SweebleApp.com. Uh, and it's fun. If you do time.sweebleapp.com, you can see how much time has been liked on the, on the site so far, which oh, is yeah. kind of fun kind of fun and uh no we're really excited for the future make sure you guys get on and, and download Sweeble for your androids and uh iphones okay well thanks thanks, thanks yeah. for thanks for coming on the yeah, show absolutely thanks for having us All appreciate right. it